TV shows are produced under extremely tight deadlines. While this does demand that everyone involved has an incredibly high level of focus, it is impossible to plan for the unexpected, and not everything that ends up on the screen was intended to be there when the episodes were being mapped out. I'm Josh from WhatCulture.com and these are 10 TV shows that accidentally filmed things you weren't supposed to see. But first, I just want to talk to you guys today about today's sponsor, Manscaped.com. Earlier this year, we initially partnered with Manscaped, and it is not an exaggeration to say that it changed our lives forever. I mean, just look at these happy campers. Uh, no, it's even smoother than that, actually. Yeah, do you want to have a feel? I've never been more smooth down there. And now we want to share with you the joy of the brand new performance package 4.0, which I have right here. Included is the brand new lawnmower 4.0 trimmer. Now, up until now, I've been using all year the Lawnmower 3.0, and let me tell you, I've never been smoother. Like, you could have put me on a water slide, and I'd have just gone. I'd have just gone forever. How is that smooth? The 4.0's updated design is even better though, as replaceable ceramic blades with skin safe technology and an LED light will help you trim with confidence. You can see everything with this, even things I don't want to see. The new wireless charging system and the new travel lock features are awesome as well. Out of the shower, your Manscaped Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant has you covered when it comes to all of your clear drying needs to keep you downstairs fresh all day. On the other hand, or ball I guess, you've got your Manscaped Crop Reviver Ball Toner, which will give you a nice little midday refresh if you need it. Now, nobody tells you when you're young just how hairy these things are going to get, but fortunately the Manscaped Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer is here to save the day. Seriously, plucking out nose hair really hurts, but fortunately that won't be a problem with this. Even better, for a limited amount of time, you can get two free gifts with your order. First up, the Shed Shovel Bag. <laughs> you could take me heat off. Even better, for a limited amount of time, you can get two free gifts with your order. First up, the Shed Travel Bag. And secondly, these lovely boxer shorts, which I absolutely swear by, they're the comfiest things ever. Also, sign up for the Peak Hygiene Plan and you'll get replenishments for your favorite products delivered straight to your door. So go to manscaped.com right now for 20% off and free international shipping when you use our promo code WHAT20. That's the promo code WHAT20 at manscaped.com. For now though, back to that video. Number 10, a mouse runs across the floor in the middle of a scene, the crown. Let's kick things off with a slightly controversial one, shall we? If you agree with it, then you can consider this the proper number 10, and if you don't, then, well, just pretend this list is a 9, and this is an honourable mention. I say all of this because there's actually some debate as to whether this moment was accidental or intentional, but either way, it certainly caused a lot of buzz when The Crown's latest season hit Netflix in late 2020. Right at the start of the fourth season's third episode, there's a montage that cuts between the Queen, Princess Margaret, the Queen Mother, and Princess Anne. When we first see the Queen Mother sat at her couch, everything looks perfectly normal until a frickin' mouse just runs across the floor at the bottom of the shot. When this moment started doing the rounds on social media, people had all kinds of takes. Some thought it was a bizarre accident, others thought it was a CG construct, and some even thought that the crew had actually trained it to perform this specific action. Soon after, of course, the Crown's official Twitter account offered up a gag rather than a concrete answer as to what was going on. And then the episode's director, Benjamin Caron, took to Instagram and posted an image of the mice from Disney's Cinderella, though again he failed to offer a definitive explanation. Some took the director's post as proof that the mouse was intentional, while others claimed that he was attempting to make a strange accident look like a directorial flourish. Whatever the case, the royal rodent caused quite a stir. Number 9. The Impossible Starbucks Coffee, Game of Thrones The quality of the writing may have dived off a cliff during the final season of Game of Thrones, but at least the on-set staff were there to make sure everything went perfectly during filming. Or at least that's what the filmmakers wanted to hope at the time. Because instead, one of the most talked about moments of the entire season was a massive blunder in the fourth episode, The Last of the Starks. Here, a Starbucks coffee cup was accidentally left on a table in front of Amelia Clark's Daenerys Targaryen, and is very clearly visible in the corner of the shot. Obviously, this completely breaks the illusion that Game of Thrones is set in a fantasy land of dragons and magic, where overpriced hot beverages are something the citizens don't have to deal with. They just have to deal with, like, death and murder and all of that intense poverty and the white walkers that rise from the dead and want to eat the whole world. Okay, maybe, maybe they have it worse. Either way, though, the mistake caused such an uproar that HBO edited out of the episode shortly after it aired, though the internet has obviously preserved the original version of the scene. Number 8. There are yellow road markings over 100 years before they should exist. Bridgerton. 
The first season of Bridgerton was a breakout hit for Netflix when it dropped last December, quickly becoming one of the most talked about shows of the year. Critics praised its lavish production design and its strong performances, but as is the case with almost any zeitgeist show, fans quickly hopped onto Twitter and started pointing out every little thing that was wrong with it. It didn't take them long to find something either, as just over three minutes into the first episode, there's a shot of two horse-drawn carriages riding down a cobbled road, and as eagle-eyed viewers soon noticed, this same shot has accidentally captured a thick yellow road marking curving its way down the street, something we clearly weren't supposed to see. Since Bridgerton is set in 1813, it would obviously be impossible for this marking to be there, as they wouldn't be introduced for another 100 plus years. Number 7. John types a blog that is actually just a still image. Sherlock. Sherlock Holmes and John Watson are one of the most intelligent duos in pop culture. Although if this moment is anything to go by, then John has got some serious learning to do when it comes to using his laptop. In the opening scenes of the season 4 premiere, Sherlock, John and Mary are hanging out at 221B Baker Street, where John is updating his personal blog. We're shown a very clear shot of John typing up his latest post, but something we weren't supposed to see is the fact that his blog is actually just a JPEG image, as evidenced by the all caps heading John Blog page.jpg in the top left corner of the screen. It's another example of the fake typing we always see in so many different movies and TV shows, made even more hilarious by the fact that actor Martin Freeman is literally just mashing keys in the Windows photo app. At least he tried, I guess? Number 6. There's a random newspaper lying around on the Enterprise. Star Trek. Star Trek is supposed to be hyper-futuristic, with technology that's light years ahead of the stuff we have in the present day. Which is why this moment in the original 1960s series stands out as being particularly unusual. In the Season 3 episode, The Lights of Zatar, there's a scene at the 48 minute mark where Spock, McCoy and Kirk are speaking about the events of the story, and through the open doorway behind them, clear as day, is a discarded newspaper just lying on the floor. Sure, we have seen newspapers in Star Trek on other occasions, but this isn't one that was supposed to be in the shot. Apparently, in this case, one of the crew members accidentally left it behind, resulting in this small moment of carelessness making its way onto the screen. Number 5. Lisa Kudrow is in two places at once. Friends. As one of the most rewatchable shows of all time, it's no surprise that people have found all sorts of weird stuff hidden within Friends, like this curious Phoebe moment in the first episode of the first season. Roughly 8 minutes in, Monica introduces the gang to her new boyfriend, Paul the Wine Guy, as Phoebe, who is stood in the kitchen, randomly proclaims, Oh, I just pulled out four eyelashes. That can't be good. The shot then cuts to Paul, sat on the sofa, who reacts to her comment with an amused expression. But for some strange reason, Phoebe isn't in the kitchen anymore. She's magically transported to the chair just behind Paul, with Lisa Kudrow accidentally being left in full view of the camera. Whoops. Number 4. There are two men messing with a pram in the background of a scene. Decoy. When a more expensive production goes out to shoot on the streets of a city, the filmmakers will often have complete control over every aspect of a scene. On the other hand, the 1957 TV series Decoy was definitely not an expensive production, and for many of the shots that were filmed on the bustling streets of New York, the production had no control over what was happening in the background of any given frame. For example, take the 30th episode of The Gentle Gunman, which features a short scene where protagonist Patricia Jones walks past a delicatessen. As she does so, there are two men in the background having the time of their lives goofing around with an empty pram on the right side of the frame. Decoy is remembered for offering a genuine view of 1950s NYC street life, and as such, it's widely believed that this moment was unwittingly captured by the crew on the day. Number 3. A huge chunk of green screen is visible behind David Tennant, Doctor Who. As beloved as Doctor Who is, it isn't really known for its amazing special effects. Right before the title sequence rolls in the season 4 episode Midnight, there's a shot of David Tennant's 10th Doctor chatting on the phone with Donna, and right behind him a huge chunk of green screen is visible for a good handful of seconds. Of course, this is clearly an accidental inclusion that somebody forgot to deal with in post, but it's so glaring that you have to wonder how it slipped through the cracks. Another funny filming accident occurred 5 years later during the 50th anniversary special, when Matt Smith's script was left on the TARDIS console in full view of the camera. Apparently, even the Doctor forgets his lines sometimes. Number 2. Crow T Robot Unexpectedly Bursts Into Flames Mystery Science Theatre 3000 Classic comedy series Mystery Science Theatre 3000 wasn't afraid to push boundaries and do ridiculous things. But not every crazy thing that happened in the show was mapped out in advance. Season 6's Danger Death Ray inevitably features the use of the titular Death Ray, with Tom Servo testing it out on the unsuspecting Crow T Robot. After the blast, Crow wanders into the frame and ends up laughing with Servo about the whole incident, but at that point his head suddenly bursts 
into a dangerously big fire, prompting him to let out a scream of terror. While Crow was, of course, meant to wander into the frame with his head having been damaged by the death ray, the moment where he bursts into flames was actually a total accident. But brilliantly, nobody in the scene broke character, allowing this hilarious moment of magic to end up in the final episode. Number one, a woman throws her fake baby into the air, the air team. While the original A-Team TV series isn't deadly serious, it's not exactly a slapstick comedy either. As a result, this moment that was accidentally slipped into a season 1 episode stands out as being particularly bizarre. In The Beast from the Belly of a Boeing, the A-Team is called in to deal with a hijacked Boeing 747, and at the end of the episode, Hannibal is forced to execute an emergency landing. This results in the plane crashing through a huge airport window, and during this shot, a surprised extra at the bottom of the frame can be seen chucking her fake baby into the air while fleeing from the plan. It's a moment of such ridiculous comedy that it doesn't fit with the episode at all, or even the series as a whole at all in the slightest. So how did it even happen? Well, if you've been watching the footage so far and been thinking, wow, this A-Team footage really looks a lot like the movie Airplane, then no, you're not going mad, because it turns out this footage actually is from the classic 1980 comedy. A movie that is renowned for its over-the-top gags, the shot was simply recycled and carelessly inserted into the A-Team itself as stock footage, creating a highly unintentional WTF moment in an otherwise straight-faced episode. So that's our list. Don't know what you guys think down in the comments below. Did you notice all of these weird background details? And are there any cool ones I missed off here? Yes, I know, the Mandalorian jeans guy. I can't believe he didn't make it on. Either way, though, while you're down there, could you please give us a like, share, subscribe, and head over to whatculture.com for more lists and news like this every single day. Even if you don't, though, I've been Josh. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.